Hey, Scorpio Riser, where are you called by spirit to serve? Where is your spirit going to be tested? Hey, this is the birthday coach, Jeremy Ryden, saying you were born for more. You deserve more love, happiness, and success. I try to help you do that with the secrets of astrology. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because I'm telling you, we're really on fire for Scorpio Risers on this channel. So, uh, you know, as I said, I was on fire last week. A lot of videos went out. Then I got a sinus infection, and so I still look a little peaked, and I may cough during this video. But uh, something that's been laying on my heart that I wanted to share with Scorpio Risers, and I would probably make this a, a, a video for all Zodiacs at some time, and that is where does spirit, the universe, God, expects you to grow spiritually, where it expects you to serve, to contribute, to give back to society. You know, I think that where some churches have gone off or different religions have gone off and even the new age has gone off, it's, we've gotten so big on prosperity, prosperity, everything come to me easy, that we've lost the sense of duty, the sense of giving back, the sense of contributing, not because I'm going to get rich, but because it's the right thing to do. It's the humane thing to do. It's the decent thing to do. And the morale, as not as in morality, I'm judging you as some far-right crazy Christian, but morale, human morale, is the moral uplifting thing to do. And so people, I feel like, have lost that. They've lost it in politics. You know, we used to have civic classes where, what is your civic to being an upstanding citizen? Now people in the politics are all rich or, or you've got to be rich to get elected or if you are in the Congress, you are a millionaire and you're not serving your fellow man, you're serving interests, corporations and you're serving your own agenda. The, the idea of maybe even making less money but serving out of a noble profession, <coughs> that's even looked down upon now. You look at all the charismatic preachers. If you're not a rich preacher, then you're not truly a blessed, successful preacher. And politicians, the idea of, you know, you know, you go into it not to become rich, but to be a servant. Well, I don't know if this video is going to go viral, is it? Because that's what people don't want to hear. But believe it or not, astrology is about spirituality. You got 12 houses, the very last house. What everything is leading up to is that 12th house. The 12th house is spirituality. It's the house of liberation. It's the house of setting your soul free from the bondage and the karma and the trauma of being a human. And so... For all Scorpio risers, where, where is it that spirit expects you to serve? Where you will see your spirit tested too. And where you can find these areas helping you to get beyond your trauma and beyond your agenda and into a higher way of being. And this is, I think, very hard for Scorpio Risers because, bada bing, bada boom, for all of us in whole house astrology, the 12th house is ruled by Libra. It's ruled by Libra. Who is the ruler of Libra? What planet controls Libra? It's Venus with the capital V. Venus with the capital V. It's the love planet. Why do Scorpio risers have a harder time in love than many other people? It's because spirit expects us to serve beyond our human capacity, beyond when we talk about unconditional love, where I'm giving to you for your well-being, for your health, for your betterment. That's what Scorpio Risers is being called to in that 12th house. With Venus ruling our 12th, it's saying you must act in love, behave in love, give love, deal love on a higher level. On a higher level. It's not that fifth house of romance. 12th house is the house of sacrifice. 
I'm sacrificing because it's the right thing to do. It's the spiritual thing to do. It's the noble thing to do. And so now Scorpio risers are saying, you must sacrifice in your marriage. You must sacrifice in those close relationships. You must give probably more of yourself than what your partner is giving to you. Why? Why? Because spirit says your liberation, transcending, transcending, getting above just the human aspect of you're hot, he's hot, she's sexy, or the human aspect of, well, this is what they can bring to the table and taking it to a Pisces level of love. Because 12th house is the natural house of Neptune. It's the natural house of Pisces. Venus is exalted in Pisces because love, the higher it goes up, the more it's less about yourself and more about the other. And so all Scorpio risers, even if you don't have Venus and Pisces, Venus is ruling that 12th. That means you must bring spirituality as a way of life in your marriage, in your business practice, in those close, close relationships. You got to sacrifice sometimes what you want for what's best for the other. What's best for the relationship. What's best. So, like I said, this may not go viral. And it's not easy. That's why there's sometimes we see trouble with the Scorpio Riser in love. Because all selfishness is being rooted out of us. Because spirit's about giving, giving. And I, I don't want you to think that I'm saying become a doormat. I'm not telling you become a doormat. I'm not telling you that you can't have a equal relationship with another. But that selfish love that thinks only about me, what my sexual needs, my financial needs, my desires and wants, it's being tested by God and the universe to say, can you rise up in love? To become unconditional. 12th house is about serving. It's about giving. It's about sacrifice. It's about commitment to the other. The other spiritual well-being. So are we using our love to lift the spirits of others? Are we using our love to help heal other people? Are we using our love freely? 12th house is about what we give to the world. It's not about just also loving your husband or wife. But now, Scorpio risers with the Venus ruling the 12th, God himself is saying, love the world. The people in it, give a damn about the people. So very much, that's a Pisces nature. Jesus Christ brought in the Pisces age. And yes, they crucified him. And I'm not suggesting that we become martyrs and we need to crucify ourselves. But I am saying that many Scorpio risers will be called upon to serve the greater whole, to serve the less fortunate, to serve the needy, to serve... I, no. But what's the, what's the reason we're serving? What's the motivation? The motivation has to be a place of pure love for your fellow human being. And I'm not that way all the time. I'll tell you right now, I can get moody. You think I can't get moody? I'm a Scorpio riser with the Virgo sun. Well, I can get moody. But I have a heart for people. And Scorpio Risers, if you're saying, well, I don't have a heart for people, you haven't gone to a higher level that spirit expects, and spirit will test you to see, can you mature in love? Can you grow in love? Now, I want to flip the script and tell you where you can expect yourself to be tested at, what area of life, and where you got to give Face that area from a spiritual perspective of surrendering and just letting God use you in that area. If Venus is the ruler of the 12, it's the ruler of the 12 for a Scorpio riser because. Now, Venus actually rules 7 and 12 for us. Taurus is on our 7th house. And Libra is in the 12th. But for right now, what I'm saying is. 
If Venus rules our 12th, if you want to know where spirit expects you to contribute from a place of surrender, I mean, I'm going to give to this area of my life from the love that spirit puts in my heart for this area. But what area is that, Jeremy? Where is Venus in your natal chart? Where is Venus in your natal chart? Because wherever Venus is in your natal chart, you're going to have to bring some type of spiritual attitude about it, some type of spiritual perspective about it, or you're going to suffer. So 12th house is serve or suffer. And so with Scorpio risers, we suffer a lot in relationships if we stop serving. If we get sidetracked and, and, and we start focusing only on our needs, man, we're going to suffer in love. But not only in love. Where did your Venus go? If your Venus is in the 10th house, that means you got to serve the career from a place of love. Meaning you got to surrender your career to the will of God, to the will of the universe, allowing the things that you do, not so much for the fame or the fortune, but because you're doing that career. Why? Because you feel called to serve, to do this work, whatever that work is. If Venus is in the 10th, it's saying do the work but do it from a place of gratitude, a place of thanksgiving, a place of faith. 12th house, right? Spiritual ways. Go about dealing with that house in a spiritual manner. So if you have Venus in the tent and you're just trying to do everything, you know, from a place, an ego place of this is what I deserve, this is what I deserve, because 10th house is leadership. This is what I deserve, I'm going to take. Now Venus being there because it's the ruler of the 12th is saying it can't just be what you're taking, but it's your giving, and the giving's got to come from opening up your heart because Spirit says, serve in this career. Serve in this capacity. Bring your goodness to this area. You know, and that could be the same thing. You throw that Venus into the seventh, and now, now we're doubly serving. You're serving your marriage partner. You're serving your business partner. You may have Venus go into the third house, or, or the fifth house. We got Venus in the fifth house. Now we're saying, let the things that I create come from a place of love. Let it come from a place, the things that I'm doing. Let it be because I feel like this is what God would have me to do. This is the painting he wants me to paint. This is the book she wants me to write. This is the stuff that I want to put out into the world. That's one way the fifth operates. Venus there also says, you got to serve children. So now you're loving, you're, 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 you're serving your children. You know, the Hindus teach namaste. The divinity in me sees the divinity in you. And so now if that Venus is in the fifth as a Scorpio riser, you're being called to see the divine in children. You're called to serve your children as if you're serving the Lord. And not being, not being resentful for the sacrifices that you had to make upon your, on behalf of your kids. Another way to look at that with that Venus in the fifth is saying you got to serve from a place of childlike faith. Childlike. It can even be fun. Service can be fun, but that Venus in the fifth is saying you can find fun ways to serve. You can, you can serve joyfully, cheerfully, happily. Because there's good. It feels good to do good. It feels good to do good. That's the reward in itself. That's the reward. Not if I'm a millionaire. Not if I'm famous. I feel good because I did good. And not because someone told me to. I'm doing it from a place. And if you're not doing it from your heart, you may need to fake it till you start making it. Maybe that thing is so hardened, you need to start getting out there to do good, to break up whatever is holding you back. From resentment and bitterness. Or I mean, resentment's holding you back. Bitterness is holding you back. Focus on yourself is holding your back. So you may have to force yourself to, to be able to do some good, even if you don't feel like it, to break up those lower energies and put you in a frequency of love and happiness and peace and joy and thanksgiving. Some people, now you Scorpio Risers, I'm laughing. Some people that aren't Scorpio Risers like, man, that guy's mad. I am mad. I'm passionate. I tell my boyfriend all the time, I'm passionate, baby. I'm passionate. You know, so let's recap. You're going to be tested wherever your Venus is, period. You're going to be tested in relationships. 
and it will either break you or it will make you move up to a higher level. And really the only way to move up to a higher level is through surrender. Now I'm a big faith preacher, but there's surrender, trust, surrendering to the higher way of being. Ask yourself next time you're, when you're suffering in a relationship or you're suffering in some area of your life, what's the higher way to respond? What is the higher being? I know how I want to react right now in my own thinking and my own feeling, but what does my higher self, how would they react? How would someone that I respect or admire, how would, what would they say to me? What pep talk would they give to me in this moment? And then that's where we say we choose our angels and don't listen to the devil. Knowing that we are the angel and the devil. And you're beautiful all the way around. Even with all your mistakes and flaws, you're beautiful, wonderful. This is not about perfection. It's about transcendence. It's about going further and further up. You know, the higher you go up in spirit, the lighter you become. You feel really weighted down. You're holding on to too many things. Just let go. I'll leave you with this Kilbrand quote. He said, I dreamt that life was all joy. And I woke up and it was nothing but service. And then I began to serve and my life became joy. So Scorpio Riser, my thought for you right now is where are you called to serve? You're called to serve in relationships. And you're called to serve wherever that Venus is in your house. What house is that in? The areas that, and the things that that house covers? You need to find a way to serve people in that house. 11th house, you would need to find a way to serve humanitarian groups. Ninth house, you may even, you know, serve an actual serve as teaching in a college, but you could actually serve as a preacher or a minister. Or serve helping people overseas. Ninth house overseas, right? And so I'm doing all this and I leave this with you because I want to tell you, even yes, I believe in prosperity and yes, I believe in health and I believe in all this stuff. I also know for a happy life, you are, you're made to contribute. You are made to give in certain areas without expecting anything in return. You're giving just because you're in the spirit of giving because you're a good, wonderful human being. And that's what good, wonderful human beings do. And if you're on this channel, I already know. You're a good, wonderful human being.